welcome to our devotions for today, Tuesday, in the week of the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany. I trust that you had a peaceful night and that you're looking forward to this new day with all that it has in store. As usual, as we come together this morning, I invite and encourage you to bring all of your loved ones with you in your heart and to find a quiet place where you can reside for a few moments without being disturbed. I'm going to bring your attention to this devotion and remember that a devotion is your personal experience. And so even though there may be some thoughts that I may offer, some readings, it's always important for you to recognize and remember that this is about you and not about the presenter. And as you listen to the readings, just listen and see what God may be saying to you this morning um, as you join in this devotion. This is your time to be with God. You're sharing it with myself and some others, but at the end of the day, it really still is your time to be with God. So take a few moments then and take a couple of deep breaths to bring your attention into your heart space so that you can really feel the stillness, the peace that is here. Allow yourself to Be open and receptive to the Spirit's words. Listen. Listen to what God is saying. What message He has sent to you through His messengers. Mary listened and Mary heard a, a very important message about how God was seeking to use her. If we would listen, we too would hear how God intends to use us. For God's messengers are all around us, whispering in our ears from time to time. Amidst the busyness and the noise of our world. Take this time as you breathe to express gratitude for those little messages that you get from time to time. Those directives. Some you acknowledge and some you ignore. See how well you can do in the future Taking time to listen, and not just to listen, but to, to act on the guidance received. Listen now, deep in your heart. And be open to guidance. We are not alone. And there are many around us that we cannot see. But they have one purpose. And that is our ascension. Like teachers in a school, they whisper their instructions, their guidance. Encouraging us when we fail. Inviting us to get up, to brush off, and to try again. Not accepting failure, but using failure as a means to our success.
Jesus says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He was listening. He was open. He was receptive. The Spirit of the Lord is also upon us. But it is for us to acknowledge the presence. O oh God, you have created us and known us. We adore you as creator of all things. Grant us to know ourselves as you know us. Show us what has been hidden from us in order that we may become the full manifestation of your love in this world. Grant us the courage to be and to not be afraid of being. Help us to learn from the examples of those whose stories we read and memorize. May we know ourselves fully in you, that your word may fill our hearts and that in our time we may be examples for those who will come after us. Hear our prayer. O God of all, and answer. Amen. We turn to our reading for today. We're in John chapter 6, verse 41 to 51. And as we read, we open ourselves to truly receive, praying that God's light may shine through His Word. Then the Jews began to complain about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They were saying, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, do not complain among yourselves. No one can come to me unless drawn by the father who sent me, and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly I tell you, Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The word of the Lord.
Jesus continues to speak of himself as the bread of life in this passage for today. And he shares with those who are challenged by his words. He shares with them a, a wonderful statement. He said, this is written in the prophets and they shall all be taught by God. And they shall all be taught by God. You know, I have heard this passage so often times and whenever you hear these passages in scripture, there's, there's always something new that you can, you can pick up that you can now use in a different way or that you hear it in a different way. And this for morning for me, it is that line. And they shall all be taught by God. When I say that, I, I have this image in my mind of something like a pyramid. And God is at the apex. And mortal man is at the base of the pyramid. And between God and mortal man, there are these levels of beings messengers, instructors. And they're all bringing, handing down from one level to the next level, instruction. And God is the source of this instruction. And these levels are levels of ascension. Persons receive and, and ascend go up higher, go up higher. It's a journey of ascension for all of us. And as you go up higher, you're able to help those beneath you, those who are coming along, those who have not attained what you have attained. And so from that perspective, you can see that all, all this teaching comes from one place or one source, the divine. And no one is left out. No one is excluded. And so Jesus says that he has come down from heaven. He has come down from the Father. He has come to bring teaching. He has chosen to come down to instruct. And there are others who come down to instruct in order that we may be uplifted. Because it is God's will that nothing be lost. So it's as though we're all in school, every single one of us. And like school, there are those who get it immediately. And there are those who don't quite get it. And then there are those who are distracted by all the other activities associated with school. And miss the point of school itself. And oftentimes these same persons, we hear of them later in life, where they recognize that they would have wasted their time at school and they go and they get some kind of second chance. And it is, it is interesting that we don't realize that the ideas and the concepts and the structures that we put together and we put in place in this mortal existence we fail to realize that these structures, we get it from somewhere. They don't just drop into our heads of our own. We are instructed. 
we're given ideas. And so in a sense, we replicate what we have understood from a higher place. But unfortunately, because of where we are in our own development, those structures that we might have received from above, they take on slightly different focus, a slightly different structure. The structures in principles are there, but in execution, they're fraught with all sorts of egotistic issues that create trouble. And so when we see ourselves having structures where there's an opportunity for persons who have missed it during their youthful days and they're given a second chance, call it adult learning, call it remedial, whatever we choose to call it, but we, we make provision for it. It seems to be the same way with this real work that we're here to do. That there are opportunities for those who don't pay attention, those who are distracted, those for whom the world seems more engaging than looking higher. Just like those youngsters who are just into games or just fooling around at school and pay very little attention to their instruction. There are many of us who do the same with our earthly existence. We are distracted by all that the world is offering us. And we pay little attention to the real work. In our time, we recognize that so many persons have become disaffected with church. Not that church um, has been perfect. It hasn't been for a long time. But generally speaking, the, the world has called the persons to it in very strong ways and many have gone off and forgotten why they were here. Some have even gone so far as to say there is no God, there is no source. And they say this because they feel so disaffected, so disconnected from the whole process of advancement. It is like the young person at school that has spent most of his time year after year just fooling around. And as far as he's concerned, or she's concerned, his certificates and stuff like that, all these are waste of time, they don't get you anywhere. And he convinces himself of that because he's afraid to deal with the reality that he hasn't paid attention. Oftentimes, persons become disaffected and they lose their way. And rather than acknowledge that they've lost their way, they consider all others as being fools, believing in nonsense. Jesus says they shall all be taught by God. That's the reality. We are all being taught by God. And the messengers of God, the teachers of God, come down among men to lift men up to be with God this is our truth this is what we know this is what we are understanding and as the human family becomes more evolved more aware more conscious it is making even greater sense to us in these recent times because we can now understand what this is all about and so this morning as we come into this space and as we seek to understand more intentionally what God is doing in our midst 
it is vital for us to really take the time and understand that we are in an education process there's lots going on that we are receiving from above and we need to pay attention because that's the only way that we can truly get through this journey sooner or later God will have God's way but we have this free will and so God continues to send his teachers to us hoping that we would listen that we would pay attention that we would allow ourselves to grow and to ascend Jesus believes that we all can ascend that we all can reach the Father's side and be able to receive that wonderful gift of God's grace, God's love, God's peace. So the work is ours to do, not to be lost in our classroom, not to find ourselves in a place where we have so ignored the instructions but realizing that God continues to send down for food for us food to nurture us food to enable us to come up higher let us therefore use every opportunity that we have and be able to receive this living bread that came down from heaven knowing that whoever eats this bread will live forever and the bread that we have been given is the flesh of Jesus. Yeah.